Hello again, greetings and cinema salutations. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut that out. <laughs> you know what? Just hey, what's yeah, up? That'll do. <laughs> that'll do it. Welcome, friends, to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and I really appreciated this one. Uh, celluloid symbiote. <laughs> Thank you for the pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. I like that one. Symbiote. And yeah, I really like that one because I don't, well, I don't know if they can see it because there's a venom up there. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I actually uh, cosplayed one year as Carnage. Yeah. We did. So uh, that was fun. Yeah, that was a fun one. I got to use a lot of splatter paint making that costume, and it was very therapeutic. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah. Cos I cosplay uh, tangent. Um, hey, but yeah, we're we're here watching movies that I've never seen before because right? I just kind of suck at being a human. Um, <laughs> that being said, Matthew. What movie are we watching tonight? Well, tonight we're going to be watching the 1988 film Coming to America. It is a comedy. And as per usual, I don't give you any information or context about the movie. You just go in with whatever you know about it from pop culture and you tell everybody what you know. Okay, well, so first off, I feel like you made brief eye contact with the camera there. Well, of when course, you said I want to. Comedy. So now I'm on edge. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it's fine. I know that this has Eddie Murphy in it. I know that he plays a prince or a king or something from like Africa. And he comes to America for something. Okay. Arsenio Hall's in it, I think. Am I, am I right? I guess we'll find out. Okay, cool. No, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you do know Eddie Murphy's in it, and that, that makes me have a question for you. When you think of Eddie Murphy, what do you think of? Red suit stand up. Okay. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Why? I just didn't know if you would think of his... Uh, like that, his past stand-ups, like Raw and Delirious when he's in those suits, like his past movies and comedies, or his more new age stuff, like the voice of Mushu, or... Uh, I mean, no. no. I was just wondering what, whenever you hear Eddie Murphy, what you picture in your mind. Honestly, what I, the first thing I picture in my mind is Chappelle Show. It's like a weird, like train of thought where it's like mm -hmm. Murphy! and then like eddie murphy like that's how my brain works R. Gotcha. charlie murphy um but yeah so that's i hope that answers your question in the most sure. roundabout emily way <laughs> all right cool <laughs> let's watch the movie <laughs> okay all right let's watch yeah arsenio hall mm -hmm. i know what i was talking about <gasps> james earl jones is in this Lily Anderson, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh my gosh, this has all the people. <laughs> I love that I just lobbed Louis Anderson with all the people. <laughs> he had a cool cartoon show, Life with Louis. I liked it. It was, it was very cool. Stand up's not bad either. Rick Baker? Oh, he's my man. Going back to more of your cosplay and mm -hmm. makeup and days. Yep, yep. <laughs> What? Uh-uh. Good morning, Your Highness. Good morning, Your Highness. Good morning, Your Highness. Happy birthday, Your Highness. Yes, it is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Extra. Oh, uh -huh. it is my 21st birthday. Do you think perhaps just once I might use the bathroom by myself? Most amusing, sir. <laughs> Wipers! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, titties! It's 
like it's my birthday. <laughs> oh! <gasps> the royal penis is clean, your highness. Life um, goals. Life goals. <laughs> Extra doesn't begin to cover. No, not even, not even a little. Like who goes around cleaning up all the rose petals? Sure, he's he's got some people. I'm sure he does. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Earl Jones. He certainly is quiet this morning. He looks sad. How can you tip? Uh-uh. Is something troubling you, my son? Cooking, the pampering, the, the dressing, the bathing. Actually, I'd rather enjoy the bathing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why can't I find my own wife? We've gone to a great deal of trouble to select for you a very fine wife. But, Father, what if I do not love her? When I first met your father, I was so nervous, I became nauseous. So, you see, my son, there is a very fine line between love and nausea. <laughs> I am for real. This Zamunda Green is like giving me life. I love it. Your Majesty. Hey, that fluffy hat. I am Colonel Izzy. I offer my daughter to your son. Pardon me. Step aside, please. Coming through. Excuse me. Out of the way. Greetings, <gasps> great prince. Presenting Miss Amani Aze. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Wow. Talk about an entrance. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> she doing it right. It's doing things right for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've done broke my damn neck. <laughs> Just snapped it right on off. Oh. Oh, damn. She's your queen to be. <laughs> A queen who do whatever his highness desires. <laughs> Is this part of it? <clears throat> Completely free from infection. <laughs> Why did you not sing that to me when you proposed? <laughs> Don't got the voice for that. <laughs> uh, fair enough. It's a lower octave. May I talk to you alone for a moment, please? <laughs> Are you saying that no matter what I tell you to do, you will do? Yes, your highness. Bark like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> a big dog. Woof. <laughs> I see the two of you are getting along. <laughs> Dang on zebra. Dang on elephants. Hello, Babar. Babar? I have yet to experience what the outside world has to offer. You're right. Get out, see the world, fulfill every erotic desire, and in 40 days, you will come back and marry your money. But father, it is settled. I want a woman that's going to arouse my intellect as well as my loins. Where will you find such a woman? In America. The land is so big. The choice is so infinite. Where shall we go? Los Angeles or New York? <laughs> we go to New York. But where in New York can one find a woman with grace, elegance, taste, and culture? A woman suitable for a king. Queens. Queens. Okay. I mean, it tracks. Like, <clears throat> it's just common sense. You see where this is going, right? It's a romantic comedy. Oh, okay. Remember, Simi, no one here can know I am royalty. You must appear to be no different than the average man. You are walking around. <laughs> now, 
<laughs> Super average. Totally <laughs> blending in. What part of Queens you want? Take us to the most common part. Oh God. <laughs> Listen. Real Americans. Pound for pound, Sugar Ray Robinson, the greatest fighter ever lived. Oh come on, man. What about Joe Lewis? Yeah, that's Eddie Murphy. Never heard of Cassius Clay. We got a point. Cassius Clay was a bad motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I ain't saying Clay ain't bad. I'm just saying I stopped liking Cassius Clay. What's the change name to Muhammad Ali? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> that's right. That's right. He gonna always be Clay to me. I don't give a fuck what chain name to. He is Clay. He Clay to me. I say Clay. Bro. Did you happen to notice who was sitting in the chair? Uh, no. I was too <laughs> distracted. It's a young Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> We require a room that is very poor. <laughs> he farted. <laughs> now this is the place that I was telling you about. It's real fucked up. <laughs> oh. Damn shame what they did to that dog. <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect that these are the people that have stolen our luggage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let them wear our princely robes. We're in New York now. Let us dress as New Yorkers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know I know it's real. Mm. It's <laughs> not. Uh uh. Just let Rocking Marciano was good, but compared to Joe Lewis, Rocking Marciano ain't shit. He bit Joe Lewis's ass. That's right, he did whoop Joe Lewis's ass. <laughs> Joe Lewis was 75 years old when they fought. I don't know how old he was, but he got an ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Lewis always lied about his age. He lied about his age all the time. One time, Frank Sinatra comes out here and sat down in this chair. And I said, Frank, you hang out with Joe Lewis, just between me and you. How old is Joe Lewis? You know what Frank told me? He said, hey, Joe Lewis, 137 years old. <laughs> Some kind of weave or something? This is my natural hair. I have been growing it since birth. Oh shit, what kind of chemical you got in there? I have put no chemicals, only juices and berries. <laughs> shit, that ain't nothing but ultra firm. Tell me how you want me to cut this. <laughs> Just make it nice and neat. Oh no. Uh. Uh. That'll be $8. <laughs> The sweaters. Mm -hmm. I've got a secret. Oh. I worship the devil. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of them. <clears throat> I can't find a man that can satisfy me. A man's got to put in overtime for me to get off. Oh, damn. This is the first date Teresa and I have been on since the doctor separated us. <gasps> I'm into the group thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was Joan of Arc in my former life. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. My name is Jesus, and I'm the best. All the DJs want to feel my breast. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope you don't mind me coming over and sitting down. <laughs> but I've been watching you all evening. And I want to tear you apart. Oh no. Oh no. And your friend too. Oh no. <laughs> Mr. Randy Watson. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Good and terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> Love of all. Inside of me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the chocolate. <laughs> 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 Damn that boy can sing. <laughs> he good. He's not good. Please welcome.
one of the organizers of tonight's festivities, Miss Lisa McDowell. Lisa, come on up here, baby. Girl, you look so good, somebody ought to put you on a plate and sop you up with a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> McDowell's. It's like McDonald's. Mm -mm. D no. Hey, what are you doing? Get the hell out of here before I bust that camera! Me and the McDonald's people got this little misunderstanding. See, they're McDonald's. I'm McDowell's. I told you not to mention McDonald's. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh! <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. I have to get back to my sanitation duties. Maybe we'll have a chance again to talk on a professional level. Oh. Goodbye, Kim. The music scared me. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, uh, take care of this for me, will you? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, it's Kunta Kente! <laughs> oh, no! Can you make my hair look like this? Oh. Man, what you wanna make your hair look like that for? Ain't got nothing to do with your hair or your pocket. You get in good with American woman's father, you in good with her. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. <laughs> what is it? Sir, I was wondering, did you happen to catch the professional football contest on television? <laughs> Most exhilarating. The Giants of New York took on the Packers of Green Bay. And in the end, the Giants triumphed by kicking an oblong ball made of pigskin to a big H. It was a most ripping victory. Son, I'm just going to tell you this one time. Yes, sir. You want to keep working here. Stay off the drugs. Sounds like you talking I was, about I was football. Just, I was like, I understand what he's saying. We got an extra ticket for the St. John's game tomorrow. Want to come? Why don't you take off your jacket, Akeem? Isn't that better? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, no. No, 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 Patrice, no. Don't do it. Ew. You're young. <laughs> You're very young. Uh-oh. 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 Anybody move out, blow your fucking head off. What are you looking at, buddy? It would be wise for you to put the weapon down. Fuck you! <laughs> Freeze, you diseased rhinoceros pizzle. Y'all <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. still got him on trash duty? Say, leave Sunday night open. I'm having a little get together in my house. You see, it is working. He has accepted us as equals. Oh no! <laughs> uh, that's a great cut. I have everyone's attention, please. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jenks, would you please join me? And Mother Jenks, you come up here too. <laughs> well, I'm pleased to announce that just a few moments ago, Daryl here popped the big question. To who? And Lisa happily accepted. Bitch, what? Uh, uh, Lisa, you gon' you know, you get to say no. What did you give him? Oh, I just gave him some pocket change. Mortimer, we're back. Is that, are they from something? Yeah, they're from another Eddie Murphy movie. Uh oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's have lunch. <laughs> Would you like to dance? <laughs> want to share lonely hours and the Is this where it kind of lose you? Yeah. <laughs> Daryl. He certainly didn't like Daryl. I'm not interested in Daryl.
My man. <laughs> All right. You got her. Sammy, I just had the most wonderful. Sorry things didn't work out between you and me, but you understand. Good night, sweet prince. Is Simi a prince? Oh. What this? Oh, Lord. Daddy coming to get you. The, like, eyes freak me out. The line stuff. I'm King Joffrey Joffa, ruler of Zamunda. Yeah, we'll have a seat. <laughs> this is beautiful. What is that, velvet? It's lion. I have come for my son, Akeem. Oh, yeah, yeah, him. You're around here someplace. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come oh, he's got house? a hamburger phone. Yeah. About nine yeah. You want to get one? Can I please okay. have a hamburger phone? Yeah, we can get a hamburger phone. Yes. No ground hope. This is King Joffe Joffe, ruler of Zamunda. He is searching for his son, Akeem. I'm staying at the Waldorf Astoria. When you see him, call me. I I'll tell him you're here. No. Do not alert him to my presence. I shall deal with him myself. No. Leave him to me. I will deal with him myself. Mm-hmm. That's what happens <laughs> when you leave a trail. Akeem, it's good to see you. Oh, no, now you got time for one, Dre. Have a seat. Get out of here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. I'll be right back. Yeah, you told old Daryl to come around. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out, is that a poodle or a bichon? Look, the girl doesn't like you anymore. Can't you get that through your greasy head? <laughs> but you told me to come over and... <laughs> I warned you, didn't I? Dottie, get him! Oh! Uh-uh! <laughs> Akeem and Lisa have gotten quite close. I must speak to her at once. This is Akeem's father. The king! <laughs> I'm not sure what to call you. My name's Cleo. It is very nice to meet you, Cleo. My name is Aeolion. 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 <laughs> this is America, Jack. Now you say one more word about Lisa here, and I'm going to break my foot off in your royal ass. Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> Their son, the prince, is in love with your sister, but the king here, he can't handle it. No, he's not. The prince is in love with me. <laughs> I love the dog shots. <laughs> Why are you hugging him? He's just the servant. <laughs> he's the prince. No. No. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> Keem's the prince? Yeah. Yeah. And he's in love with Lisa. How come she always gets the good ones? <laughs> Probably because she don't grope dick. <laughs> Mother, I love her. Then go after her. Akeem, Akeem, I forbid you. Put a sock in it, Joffrey. The boy is in love. <laughs> <laughs> that talk. Hmm? That talk. Oh, Daryl, what the damn hell? Lisa dumped me. <laughs> oh, I know. You poor thing. The first thing we have to do is get you out of these wet clothes. Damn, Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> she thirsty? Just stand clear of the closing doors. He's in love. Oh. <laughs> Lisa, please. I love you. I'm not sure who you are. I'm the man you fell in love with. Should it matter that I'm a prince? <laughs> <laughs> it 
shouldn't, but I... Just tell me you didn't love me when you thought I was a goat herder. And I will never bother you again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I can't. <sighs> Really a prince, I'll marry you. <laughs> oh my. That is that's a dress, huh? It's a whole lot of dress. That's a uh, <laughs> sorry. It's great. <laughs> oh god, it's like Pepto Bismol <laughs> threw up on a Barbie. <laughs> oh, oh and that girl! Ha ha ha! Never saw it coming. Never did you? saw it coming. <laughs> Your Highness, we have not come to that part yet. Skip. To the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual chocolate! There may be some people in here you uh, didn't expect. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, stop right there. Listen, stop right there a minute. A man goes into a restaurant. He sits down, he's having a bowl of soup. He says to the waiter, waiter, come taste the soup. It's wrong, is the soup too cold? Will you just taste the soup? All right, I'll taste the soup. Where's the spoon? Aha! <laughs> Aha! <laughs> That's where that comes from! Aha! Aha! All right, that makes up for this being a romantic comedy. <laughs> So, that was coming to America. Overall thoughts? I mean, I enjoyed the crap out of it, even despite it being, you know, <laughs> I, I just, I just can't trust you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was only like that one little part that made me like cringy. Yeah, there was a, it was not a lot of the sappy yeah. romantic comedy yeah. bits of it. And that's why I didn't say romantic comedy in the beginning because I didn't want you to go it's in sour. with an expe expectation before him and seeing it. Yeah. You know, like, oh, no. you know. I appreciate your omission. I do trust you. Because it's a classic. Mm -hmm. I think and it's classic Eddie Murphy. And it is a romantic comedy. But yeah, it's a lot of the comedy didn't come from like romantic mm -hmm. miscommunication of that it was kind of like a more the fish out of water him being in new york culture shock yeah. funniness yeah i um i was really glad that they didn't go with the with they didn't do more of the him versus daryl thing like yeah. they, they just kind of just it, uh, yeah and they <laughs> they made daryl such a I mean, they made Daryl such an over-the-top, like, jerk mm -hmm. and asshole mm -hmm. that, like, it only took just a little bit to get what they were going for there. The soul glow. Like, I've heard <laughs> that jingle. Oh, I've yeah, you have. I've heard you sing it. Um, like, and I've seen, like, the, the bit with them, like, getting up off the couch and leaving the spots. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I've, I've seen that in, like, VH1, I think, or MTV used to have this this show, something about I Heart the 80s or something like oh, that. Yeah. And, like, I saw a bit there, but that was, you know, years ago, and I didn't really understand the reference. <laughs> um, but so that was why it tickled me when I saw it, because I was like, I know this now! <laughs> Um, I know. I understand. Oh God! <laughs> I understood that reference. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Every 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 time I learn something new. <laughs> so this was directed by John Landis, and uh, there's a there's quite a few other movies on our list that he has also directed. Okay. So there's like uh, Animal House. Okay. Kentucky Fried Movie. Cool. Cool. Uh, Trading Places. 
American Werewolf in London. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a lot more. Yeah, and <laughs> there was that one part where there was like kind of a little cameo Easter egg from the two homeless men. That's in another movie that's on the list that we'll be watching. Okay. So I didn't think you really needed to see. Like it would just, it would have been funnier and been like, oh, yeah, look at those guys. But it wasn't really yeah. integral to the story. So uh, that's why I was okay with watching this one beforehand. Okay. About it. Like I said, I trust you. You were uh, quite shocked there in those ending credits to learn that the old white guy in the barber shop was Eddie Murphy. I'm like, I don't know why I'm shocked. Like, I know that you know Rick Baker did the makeup, so I mean, okay, yeah. uh, guy's good. Yeah, <laughs> um, but that just blew me away. But the <laughs> like, the, I okay. <laughs> That's one of those that I have been exposed to for so many years, had no clue where it came from. Like, honestly, for the longest time, I just thought it was just some some random bit like that you came up with or, or no. one of the guys, you know, we went to college with. Um, fun random disclosure, I helped form a fraternity. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it was one of the fraternity guys that came up with it but they're not that funny that's um, eddie murphy shit <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that's why i asked you in the beginning you know when you think of eddie murphy what comes to mind because this is like you know old school eddie murphy although this was kind of different for him because you know you've seen i've, I've shown you the stand-ups the mm -hmm. raw and mm -hmm. delirious and he you know crude foul mouth say, yeah dirty it's but uh he i enjoyed it a lot i feel like that's you know should be nail on the head like i enjoyed his stand-up yeah you yeah <laughs> you know one in the same mind kind of on a lot of things <laughs> we also both have big smiles so you know i mean we're basically the same person but yeah I, was, I didn't i was wondering what you thought of when you thought of eddie murphy and trying to get it although like i said this was kind of a departure for him because he was you know leading man in a romantic comedy mm -hmm. like he had done other movies uh where he's kind of lead or was the lead but not in a romantic way so yeah. and this and this was written by him this yeah, is his I saw story that. yeah i'm sorry we still got the credits up on like the baby i just saw randy watson <laughs> Special chocolate, everyone. <laughs> oh, I know where that comes from, too. Yep. I, I mean, this was a a, a plethora of, of this was a learning experience, and I'm so glad for it. Uh, oh, you know what else I was glad for? What's that? That opening dance scene. Wow. <laughs> like that was insane. That was like some carnival shit with like. Serengeti deliciousness oh. tossed in. I, I, I'm, I was about it. I may, no oh man, I ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna rewind that. Um, <laughs> yeah. and, and we also got some titties. So okay. I wasn't expecting that up front. That was great. Oh, really I don't know if I was holding it together very well. I was waiting on the royal penis part. That was. Uh, <laughs> Because I knew you were going to be distracted by the first pair. <laughs> and when she came up out of the water, you weren't going to be ready for that. I wasn't, and I'm so happy for it. <laughs> All right. So, were there any other uh, favorite scenes or favorite parts? Anything that stuck out? I know you said the dance part in the beginning, um, which was really cool. I love Samuel Jackson's little kind of cameo appearance. Um, I'm not sure... I th is this his first on screen? Really? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll look that up. That. And, yeah. Um, or just let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be down there. If it is, I think that's hilarious that his first or one of his first is, of course, him screaming. <laughs> like, um, that's when he's at his best. I mean, those really it, intense characters. Well, that's a whole nother story. More like Mace Wind don't. No, no, Am no, I no, right? No. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, no. I mean, I this I just really enjoyed this. All of the barbershop scenes, like that, just tickled me. Yeah, like, all the old men just <laughs> constantly busting each other's balls. Mama, call me play. I'm gonna call me play. 
I met Dr. Martin Luther King. You ain't never met Dr. <laughs> yeah. Not to win that me. Uh, no, I mean this is just a this is just a good one. Um, a high rewatchability. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna say this one's a, a solid like eight point nine. Okay. Yeah. I'd give it eight and a half. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Because it is, it's very, it's funny. It's got a lot of humor, like a lot of good jokes, mm-hmm. and a lot of, like I said, that whole fish out of water culture shock type of comedy I, which is good i give a solid seven just for the costumes you know yeah like that oh, i figured you would like that yeah i just love it right up your alley makes me happy but oh. yeah very rewatchable very funny mm-hmm. like that's probably i don't know it's up there in the amount of times i've seen it and i used to, <laughs> it's got to be over 20 like it's a lot is it over nine thousand? <laughs> no <laughs> i'm sorry on that note, unless mm-hmm. you've got anything else. I don't. Nope. Okay. That's it. We're done. <laughs> gonna end it on that one. I'm gonna end it on that one. That's a solid outro. Oh, uh, no. The only thing solid around here is you guys. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with us to the end. Uh, please make sure to leave us a like, um, leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, Go ahead and subscribe so you can be a part of the club, the film club. You know, that's what we call it. It's the first time film club. You can be a club member. I got it. You're good. (laughs) Anyways, thank Mm -hmm. y'all for watching. We'll see you next time with another first time. Bye.